Your clear eye is the one absolutely beautiful thing. I want to fill it with colour and ducks. The zoo of the new. Whose names you meditate. April snowdrop. Indian pipe. Little stalk without a wrinkle. In a pool of images that should be grand and classical. Not this. Troublous wringing of hands, this. This dark ceiling without a star. Thou art not holy to belie me so. I am not mad. This hair I tear is mine. My name is Constance. I was Geoffrey's wife. Young Arthur is my son. And he is lost. I am not mad. I would to heaven I were, for then it is like I should forget myself. I could. What grief should I forget? For being not mad, but sensible of grief? My reasonable parts produce reason, oh, how I may be delivered from these woes, and teaches me to kill or oh, hang myself. If I were mad, then I should forget my son. Or oh, madly think a babe of clouts were he. I am not mad. Go oh, too well, too well do I feel the different plague of each calamity. For since the birth of Cain, the first male child to him that did but yesterday suspire, there was not such a gracious creature born. But now, Will canker sorrow eat my bud? Can chase the native beauty from his cheeks? He will look as hollow as a ghost, as dim and meager as an ague's fit, and so he will die. 
rising so again, when I meet him in the courts of heaven, I shall not know him. Therefore, therefore, never, never must I behold my pretty Arthur more. Grief fills the room of, of my absent child. Lies in his bed, walks up and down with me, puts on his pretty looks, repeats his words. Remembers me for all his gracious parts. Stuffs out his vacant garments with his form. And then... Then... Have I reason to be fond of grief. Oh, one of them no-necked monsters hit me with the hot buttered biscuits, so now I have to change. <sighs> well, I just remarked that one of them no-necked monsters ruined my lovely lace dress, so now I have to change. <sighs> you know I call them that because of their little fat heads on top of their little fat bodies without a bit of connection. <laughs> Think of it, Brick. <laughs> They've got five of them. Number six on the way. While well, I got a whole bunch of them out here like animals at a county fair. While well, they got those kids doing tricks all the time. Of course, along with all those constant little remarks and innuendos about how you and I have yet to produce any kids of our own. Totally childless and therefore totally useless. Of course, it's comical. Yes, it's comical. But it's also disgusting. Because you just know exactly what it is they're up to. They're up to cutting you out of your father's estate. And now that we know Big Daddy is dying of cancer, well, well, it just makes sense as to why they're hustling down here every witch sitch with the whole screaming tribe. <laughs> and why there are so many illusions made to Rainbow Hill lately. Rainbow Hill, you know, that place where they treat alcoholics and dope fiends in the movies. Now. I know you don't take dope, baby. 
Otherwise, you'd be a perfect candidate for Rainbow Hill. Hmm. And that's where they aim to ship you. <laughs> Over my dead body, they'll ship you there. <laughs> Cause nothing would please them more. Hmm. But Brick, you still got one big advantage. Big Daddy dotes on you, baby. <laughs> he can't stand the brother man and the brother man's wife and that monster with fertility, May. I mean, she is downright odious to him. Why did you look at me like that? Like the way you just hit now. I've seen that look before. Don't you think that I know? Hmm? Don't you think that I know that I've gone through this horrible transformation that I've become? Hard and frantic and, and cruel. Don't you think that I know that? But Brick, I get so lonely. Living with somebody that you love can be even more lonely than living entirely alone. If the one that you love doesn't love you back. Girl. Oh, can't you? Can't you lose your looks or something? You know, get get fat or ugly so I so I can stand it. I feel all the time like a cat on a hot tin roof. But I'll win. I'll win. All right. But what victory comes to a cat on a hot tin roof? <laughs> Just holding on, I guess. for as long as she can. <laughs>